Hello guys, this is Ved from the Cyber Club, and today in this video we are going to learn about WGET. Actually, there is a, a video on the same channel, the Hacking Saga, uh, about WGET, but that video was on Linux, and uh, as all of you know, that many of our users are using Windows machines. So in this video, we are going to learn how to use the WGET binaries on a Windows machine. Okay. So go to Google and type something like that. W get for Windows. Okay. So uh, here is a website gnuwin32.sourceforge.net. So on that website, there is a link of binaries. You have to download that GIF file. Okay. Once you got the GIF file, you have to extract those file into any separate folder. like uh, okay so here is the folder w get okay so our main executable file is in the bin directory okay and uh, let me tell you one more thing these dlls shouldn't be there once you have downloaded the w get binaries from that website actually there is an uh, another link on that same website the dependencies here uh, what you have to do is download the dependency dot gif file okay let me show you uh, what is in there in the dependency dot gif file okay okay here it is okay in the bin folder there is uh, five dll files what you have to do is copy those five DLL files and paste it to the wget binaries folder. Okay, so my main wget binaries folder is here, and in the bin, you have to paste those five DLLs. Okay, so all done. So the main use of uh, wget is let me tell you uh, first, I am going to show you how you can maybe have a website with wget uh, let mm, let us maybe have the same website of wget uh, let us copy the URL and uh, <coughs> let me navigate to my CMD okay so the path of my wget dot exe is here see users downloads compared and there so I have to navigate navigate to that uh, specific folder Okay, so download, then compressed, then wget, then bin. Okay, now I have to write wget.exe. Okay, so the arguments are missing. Le for mirroring a single website or URL, what you have to do is write this string wget minus m, m for mirror space, after that, paste the URL. Okay so let's hit enter and after some time it will move the entire website into a folder and the name of the folder will be same as the url okay so this is a great tool for offline browsing if you want to download uh, any website for reading later without uh, internet connection then this tool will be a lifesaver okay so this is uh, this is a simple demonstration of wget and one more thing if you are on mozilla there is a plugin named uh, flashcot and with the help of flashcot you can manage your downloads and you can also uh, bind up your wget with uh, flashcot okay as you can see here that there is internet download manager pilot and wget actually wget uh, was not there and if you want to add any custom download manager you have to go to flashcot options and more option and from here you can add your binaries okay and one more thing if you want to uh, download any software or any direct link so what you have to do is uh, just write down something like uh, that let us assume that we want to download a mp3 file just a minute let me increase the font size okay 
so let us assume you uh, you want to download an mp3 file from any website like www.xyz.com slash media dot mp3 for that you have to write that arg argument into a command line w get uh, after that the url dot uh, xyz dot com slash media dot mp3 and after that you have to press enter and your download will begin okay so there are also lots of hacks about w gets and we will discuss discuss these uh, hacks in the next videos okay so let us wait a little more let us see what we got in this folder okay so as you can see uh, each and every file is in here okay there is a c script and uh, there are there is entire website there is entire website in the single folder okay L uh, you can use this uh, tool like uh <coughs> is there any novel on any website uh, uh, which is around thousand pages and you don't have time to read that you are going to a picnic or you are going to somewhere else where we, you don't have internet connection in that case you can mirror the entire website and uh, read it later without any internet connection so again as you can see that this tool is a lifesaver and in our next videos in the wget series we will discuss more about the wget hacks like uh, what more you can do with the wget tools okay so thank you guys uh, if there is any question or query please comment it below and if you like this video please subscribe and hit like thank you this is ved we'll meet in the next video bye